The restaurant was cozy with dim lighting and a warm ambience. As Ryan entered, the soft hum of conversation filled the air. Blending with the clinking of silverware and the subtle noises of jazz music playing in the background. She spotted Taehyung almost immediately sitting at a table near the back. He looked different. Older, more refined, but still the same Taehyung in many ways. The same soft eyes and the same easy smile. Her heart gave a small involuntary flutter as she walked over, but this time it wasn't the same overwhelming rush of emotions she had felt all those years ago. It was more of a nostalgic warmth, like seeing an old friend after a long time apart. Taehyung stood up as she approached, wrapping her in a quick, friendly hug. It's so good to see you. She said, smiling as she pulled back to take her seat. It's been forever, hasn't it? Too long, he chuckled, settling back into his chair. You look great, by the way. How have you been? Wan shrugged, feeling a little awkward under his gaze. I've been good. Just working a lot, you know how it is. He nodded, his eyes crinkling at the corners in that familiar way that had once made her heart skip a beat. Yeah, life gets busy. It's kind of crazy how we just... Lost touch. Ryan laughed lightly. That's what happens when you're trying to be an adult, I guess. Their conversation flowed easily, surprisingly so, considering how much time had passed. They reminiscized about their university days. Laughing about old inside jokes and catching up on the people they had once known. Wan found herself relaxing, slipping into the comfort of their shared history. It felt nice, like a small piece of her past had resurfaced. Offering her a moment of familiarity in a life that had become almost unrecognizable. So, what about you? She asked, sipping her wine. What have you been up to? Tehung leaned back, swirling his glass thoughtfully. I've been traveling a lot, 
working on some projects but uh, um actually that's not the big news wine raised in ipro oh what's the big news then the words hung in the air for a moment heavy and unexpected wine blinked trying to just process what she had heard they him getting engaged for some reason the idea seemed surreal but then of course it made sense he was a grown man living his life moving forward just like she had oh wow she managed offering him a genuine smile congratulations they that's amazing thanks he said his smile softening her name's lily she's well she's incredible i broke up with yuki a couple of years ago it just didn't work out in the end but lily she's different i'm really happy with her Wan was surprised but at the same time she felt happy for her friend it was genuine happiness she could feel it in her chest I'm really happy for you they she said sincerely you deserve that he smiled looking relieved thanks wan that means a lot They continued to chat, catching up on everything from work to travel to their lives now. It was strange sitting across from the man she had once thought she would never get over and realizing that those feelings were now just a distant memory. She was proud of herself for how far she had come. The girl who had once waited on Taehyung's every move was gone. In her place was a woman who had built a life of her own, one she was proud of. After a while, they him glanced at his watch, then back at her. I hope you don't mind, but I might have to leave soon. I promised Lily I wouldn't be too late. Van nodded. Of course, no worries. They paid the bill, and as they stood up to leave. They him looked at her with a mix of curiosity and something else she couldn't quite place. By the way, he said, "Are you seeing anyone?" Wan felt a smile tug at her lips, and she nodded. "Yeah, actually, I am." Oh, They him's eyebrows shot up in surprise. "Who's the lucky guy?"
Wan was about to answer when she felt a presence behind her and she didn't need to turn around to know who it was. The familiar scent of cologne and the sound of polished leather shoes on the floor was enough. Jeon Jungkook, the CEO of the company where she worked, and the man who had unexpectedly walked into her life when she least expected it. She turned to see him standing there, his dark hair slightly tousled from the wind outside, a confident yet playful smirk on his face. His tailor suit plunged to him in all the right places, and as always, he looked effortlessly handsome. He stepped closer to her. Sorry, I'm late, Jungkook said, his voice smooth as silk. He glanced at Taehyung, giving him a polite nod. Hi, I'm Jungkook. Taehyung's eyes widened slightly, recognition flashing across his face. Jeon Jungkook, as in the CEO of... Jungkook chuckled, shaking his head modestly. Yeah, that's me, but right now I'm here for Wyan. Wan felt her heart skip a beat as she glanced up at Jungkook, who met her gaze with a soft smile that was just for her. She had never expected to fall for someone like him, but life had a funny way of surprising her. Jungkook had come into her life with an intensity she hadn't anticipated, but instead of being overwhelmed, she had found herself drawn to him in ways she never had been with anyone else. Taehyung stood there clearly taken aback for a moment before recovering. Wow, that's... I didn't know you two were dating. That's great. Wan smiled, feeling a sense of peace wash over her. Yeah, it's been a year and a half now. He's... he's kind of amazing. Jungkook raised an eyebrow playfully at her. Kind of. I'll take it. Taehyung laughed. Well, I'm happy for you, Wyan. Really, you deserve someone's amazing. Wyan nodded, feeling the weight of those words. It wasn't like it hadn't been years ago. This was different. She wasn't standing here hoping for Taehyung's approval or waiting for him to see her in a new light. She was just herself, happy, content and moving forward in her own way. Thanks, Te, she said softly, and congrats again on your engagement. I'm really happy for you too.
She looked up at him, her heart swelling with affection for the man who had unknowingly helped her close the chapter on her past. Once Tehung had left, Jungkook turned to her, his dark eyes sparkling with mischief. So that was the famous Tehung, Jungkook finished with a playful smick, his eyes scanning her face, curious but not intrusive. Wan couldn't help but laugh softly, shaking her head. Yeah, that's him. Jungkook raised an eyebrow, leaning in slightly. His voice dropping to a teasing whisper. The one you had that unrequited crush on for years. She rolled her eyes, though her cheeks warmed at the memory. Yes, the one. Thanks for bringing that up. Just checking, he teased, his arm still comfortably wrapped around her waist. You good? You seem peaceful. Van glanced up at him, surprised by how well he could read her, how easily he noticed the subtle changes in her mood. She wasn't used to that kind of affection, but with Jungkook, it felt natural, like he genuinely cared to understand her in ways that went beyond the surface. I am, she admitted, her voice softer now. It's kind of surreal seeing him again after so long, but I think I needed that closer. I moved on. Jungkook's lips curved into a small, approving smile. Good, I didn't want to have to fight him for you. She laughed again, leaning into him, as if anyone could compete with you. He gave a low chuckle, the sound deep and reassuring. Well, I'm glad I'm not competing with a ghost from your past. He seems like a good guy, though. He is, Wan nodded, her gaze drifting to the restaurant's exit where Tae Hyung had just walked out. We were just never meant to be. That's okay. I found something better now. Jungkook's smile softened and he leaned down to press a tender kiss to her forehead. I like hearing that. Wan felt the warmth of his words settle in her chest, grounding her in the present. The past didn't hold the same weight it once had. Tae Hyung, with all his charm and warmth, was a close chapter in her life, and here she was, standing beside someone who saw her, truly saw her, for who she was now, and not for who she had been. As they walked out of the restaurant together, 
Jungkook's hand slid from her waist to intertwine with hers. The city lights twinkled around them, casting a soft glow over the streets, and Wyan couldn't help but feel grateful for the twist and turn that had brought her to this moment. Where to now? Junko cast his voice light as he stepped out into the cool night air. Home, Wyan suggested, glancing up at him. Your place or mine? Junko grinned, his tone playful. She had spent so long chasing an idea of love, waiting for someone who was never going to love her in the way she deserved. But now, with Jungkook, she didn't have to wait. He was here, fully present, loving her in a way that made her feel valued, seen and cherished. And that, she realized, was everything she had ever truly wanted. Dear girlies, just focus on being the better version of yourself. Work hard, be determined, get so successful that a man chases you. Remember, if you are independent, bold and successful, the right man will worship the floor you walk on. And with that being said, this is the end. Um, I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like, share, subscribe and comment something nice. Bye.